You should turn on the system and then stop the fan with your finger. I'm gonna need some training for that. You should hit a golf ball off of every PC part. Yeah, I could, uh, I can see what I can do. I think it survived. Traditionally, there are seven main components that make up a computer. Graphics card, central processing unit, storage, power supply, random access memory, motherboard, and case. Although, for the sake of not getting kicked out of this driving range, I uh, didn't bring a case with me. So, we'll have to make do with what we have and find the best way to hit a golf ball off of each of these components. Starting with the RAM. This one was honestly the hardest to set up as a T, mainly because, as you can imagine, these individual sticks of RAM don't do a great job of holding themselves up, let alone a golf ball. It took a bit of finagling before I figured out that you could actually use the little slots that you normally use to figure out the orientation of the RAM stick to actually clip into one another to provide some extra support. Enough support, thankfully, to hold a golf ball. With that, let's let her rip. Up next, let's break out the power supply. Is it cheating just to mash in a normal golf tee into these components? Maybe, but some of them make it easier than others. Do you think the more wattage in the power supply, the more powerful the golf shot will be? One way to find out. That one was a beauty. Up next, let's test out the CPU for size. For this one, I had a lot of trouble keeping the golf ball on the CPU itself, and so I figured why not use some thermal paste to help glue the ball to the CPU. For this one, I'm breaking out the five iron. On deck, let's break out the storage, in this case, a hard drive. This one also required the use of an actual golf tee, but hey, at least we got a good shot out of it. Finally, let's break out the CPU cooler with a couple balls stacked on top of each other. Whoa, look at that one fly. Yeah, this one, this one's definitely my favorite. If you ever have to use a PC component as a T, use a cooler. You should see how well your dog works as thermal paste. Uh-oh. Hey buddy, come here. If you haven't met my puppy, this is Deuce. Hey Deucey, you wanna be used as thermal paste in my PC? I didn't think so. It's a good thing you're so fluffy. Mind if we borrow some of that fur? It helps that he's shedding his winter coat because after literally 30 seconds of brushing him, we have ourselves a nice doggy fur ball, which he wants to eat for some reason. <laughs> but we're not gonna let that happen and instead let's take it down to our workshop where we can pair it with a workbench. After cleaning off our residue from our thermal paste cookie experiment, we have ourselves a nice spot for the fur. <laughs> it's not every day that you see a fuzzy CPU. Why does this look so strange? <laughs> With the dog fur applied as thermal paste, we can boot up the system and it's time to run a stress test. Think there's any chance this keeps the CPU cool? Well, let's find out. Keep your eye on this top left line graph. And as you can see, under load, this skyrocketed to over 100 degrees Celsius. You can even see the fur blowing in the wind from the fan. <laughs> now, this makes total sense on paper. Dogs use their fur to keep themselves nice and warm. And so, when we put it on the CPU, it does the exact same thing, trapping heat from leaving the system, which you can definitely feel. After that stress test, this hair is quite warm. But now it's time to return this to its rightful owner. Here you go, buddy. 